Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Market Insights. I hope everybody is well. Trying to get to where I can share my screen with all of you. I got a new... a new computer, so. There we go. So logging in for the first time, you know how that works. Or you might not. Anyway, hope you've had a great week wherever you are. Spent this morning. Do a little skiing. We got some snow in the mountains, so that was kind of fun. Um, real first day of skiing for the season. Went great. I'm still in one piece. All good news. So it is December the 11th. Quick reminder that this is for educational purposes only, not intended as investment advice, just sharing my own personal thoughts with you based on some 40 plus years of experience. So as you, you know, go about trying to figure out what's happening in the market, um, your basic considerations, you know, what are the fundamental influences and news events that are impacting the market? Uh, what is the overall market trend? Uh, how the various sectors performing? And um, then which stocks might be of interest. So here we go. Let's move in the market. All eyes are on the Fed. Our next Fed announcement is uh, December 13th. Um, it is widely expected that the Fed is going to hold rates, but their comments are always capable of moving the markets. You know, they may say, hey, we're holding but we leave open the possibility for future rate hikes, blah, blah, blah. If they get hawkish on us, that could have a negative impact. So we'll definitely be watching for that. Uh, the S&P, as well as the NASDAQ, is riding a six-week winning streak. So there's this thing in the market, you've heard me talk about it, called seasonality. Generally, November, December, and January are great months, and certainly that has played out. We have our CPI number due out Thursday. So Fed obviously is looking to see where inflation is, to see if their monetary policies are taking hold. So the last CPI print was 3.2%. We're hoping for something less than that. 10-year Treasury sits at 4.249%. We'd love to see that get below 4%. That'd be a huge boost for the market. I know it was pretty flat in the low 70s. So what to watch this week? So as mentioned, CPI numbers are coming out on Tuesday. That'll be the big deal. On Wednesday, we get the producer price index. So that's basically inflation at the wholesale level. And the interest rate decision from the Fed. On Thursday, initial jobless claims as they come out every Thursday. Um, retail sales, those numbers will come out. And then on Friday, industrial production and the Empire State Manufacturing Survey. So a lot of pretty important news due out this week. So be watching all of that. <clears throat> Last week's heat map, um, you know, a lot of the old names doing great, NVIDIA, Alphabet, Meta, Tesla, Amazon, Broadcom, AMD, Intel, Qualcomm. So the semiconductors just did and had a fantastic week. Not so much with energy or with um, healthcare and consumer staples. Year to date, there's been so much money to be made. When you look, NVIDIA up 220%, Amazon 73, Tesla 93, uh, Meta 170%, Alphabet 51, uh, Microsoft 
Apple 48% and doing covered calls on both of those uh, this year. So it's been a great year if you're in the right parts of the market. Market breadth, the internals, love this. New highs on the NYSE, 294. How many new 52-week lows? 68. And even on the NASDAQ, the new highs have overtaken the new lows, 355 to 304. All of that, highly positive. Trading above our 20-day moving average, well, we dropped down into the mid-70s. We were up around um, 90%. So we've had a little cooling off of the front runners. Not significant. Um, Year-to-date returns, large cap growth, 38%. That's where it's been. So small cap has definitely trailed. So here's your scoreboard. S&P is up. 20% year to date. Uh, the NASDAQ is up 37.6, the Dow 9.4, and the Russell 2000, that small cap 6.8. Big winners for the week Carnival, Norwegian Cruise Lines, uh, Walgreens, um, Bed Bath, Body Works. Now they're up about 10%. Uh, CVS, Southwest Airlines, Royal Caribbean, a lot of stuff in the travel sector. Done great. Uh, the losers, Dollar General, and then a whole bunch in the energy sector, which, you know, that's what happens. One oil goes from 75 down to 70. There's a big bet right now taking place with call options on IWM. So the market thinks IWM is going higher. Small caps offer value. So right now in the S&P 500, uh, the Ford PE ratio is 19.4. For small caps, SML, 14.65. Much more value there. But it's been languishing. You know, they haven't had the growth. New job creation jumped last month. But inflation, everything looks like it's heading lower. Great news. Fed's policies are definitely working. Uh, how much do folks anticipate spending at the holidays? This actually shocked me. But you have to keep in mind that there's all kinds of economic demographics, but um, the average person is planning on spending $975 uh, for the holiday season. Fed <clears throat> probabilities, well, on December 13th, probability of a hold, 98.4%. In, in January, 94.4%. March, 55.4%, and there's a 50% chance of a rate cut in May. I don't see it happening until the third quarter. That's just me. I think the economy is far too hot to start cutting rates, but we'll see how that plays out. Let's take a look at the charts, <clears throat> see what's going on there. Let's look at the SPX, which is the S&P 500 looking great it was rolling over and now it's caught fire again and we are above that magical 4600 boy if we could close above that and stay there for a week or so good chance you'll see money coming off the sidelines out of money market and into stocks the q so this is big tech also, looked like it was rolling over. Definitely heading higher. And how about the IWM? Yep, that's gaining momentum for sure. So as of today, everything looks great. November's been great. December's been great so far. 
Um, I think we're well positioned for this market to continue moving higher. Valuations are going to be a bit of an issue, but I don't think it's a huge issue. I think the rest of this year, last three weeks, and the first month of next year are very, very promising. So we'll keep you up to date with all of that. So appreciate having you hang out with me. Um, I'll be seeing you again next week. So until then, be blessed. We'll talk soon.